The train crash was designed to be a spectacular demonstration that it is safe to transport nuclear fuel in steel flasks. It was described as the most horrendous and pessimistic crash that could be arranged. The train ran into the lid of the flask at nearly 100 miles an hour. As predicted, the lid stayed on. But today, Greenpeace said the crash was rigged. And they produced a document which they say was leaked to them from the nuclear industry and which they claim shows the crash was meant to cause only superficial damage to the flask. First, Greenpeace say the flask was positioned with a vulnerable valve away from the train to protect it. The CEGB say the flask was positioned so the train would exert maximum leverage on the lid. Greenpeace claim the CEGB unbolted the heavy engine inside the locomotive so that during the crash it would sail over the flask instead of pushing into it. The CEGB say rubbish. The engine was not tampered with in any way. Greenpeace claim the carriages had weights in them to keep them on the ground and prevent them rising up and falling onto the flask because this could have damaged it. Again, rubbish, say the CEGB. There were no weights in the carriages. Finally, the allegation is that the train was specially chosen because it would crumple more easily than other trains. Again, rubbish, say the CEGB. The locomotive was the heaviest available. I find it quite laughable that anyone would consider we would put our reputation on the line in front of the, the engineers, the scientists, the cameras of the world. I mean, it's nonsensical. Isn't it just possible that perhaps some engineers might have pulled a few bolts or adjusted things to give you a favourable result? I think the only people who could conceivably have done that would be people who wanted to leave our employment rapidly or make a name for themselves in the comic strips. The CEGB are confident that the Greenpeace allegations won't be taken seriously. They say they have nothing to hide.